In this video, I'll talk about the key difference of sum and sumx function in Power BI. I will also explain you the scenario where and when to use sum function and sumx function with example. So please stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Learning Science. Sumx function. When you have to do calculation by row by row and aggregate the each row, then you need a sumx function. Whereas sum function aggregate column. So let me show you my data set. So this is my data set. What I want basically the unit price multiply by order quantity. I want a sales amount for each row. OK, so first we'll try with the sum function. This is my two data card. Here I will display the sum and here I'll display the sum X function. So let me create a new major. So I'll give the name to this major sum underscore example. And here I'll use the sum function. So sum function, if you can see the parameter here, it will take a column name. So let me give the column name training and I'll say order quantity. OK. Multiply by my formula, assume sum training unit price okay so it is working let me put it here so i'll put it here so i you can see the 5.81 trillion so this is not correct so i'll explain you why it is not correct now let me try with the sumx function So I'll say the sum x. Over oh, here I'll use a sum x function. So first it required a table name. So I'll give my table name. And then I will what I'm going to do, I'll give expression training order quantity multiply by training sample to unit price. So let me put it here. So can you see the difference here? 81.01 million and here 5.81 trillion. So let me explain you. So basically the sum sum x function, what it will do, it will take each row unit price and quantity first it will multiply each row it will multiply and then go till the end and after that it will do the summation whereas the sum function what it will do it it takes a unit pride as a column and it will do the summation and order quantity and do summation and after both the summation it will be multiplied so that is the reason sum is not working here correctly OK, so. So if you want to achieve this. Using a sum function, you have to do something like let me go here and I will create a new column. And I will say sales amount. This is my calculated column. Sales amount. Someone short. Uh, what I'm going to do here training order quantity multiply by training unit price. Okay. Now it is fine. Sorry, I missed the. Now this the unit price and quantity both multiply and here is the total amount sales amount. Now I'll make a modification in the sum. Instead of the order quantity multiply by unit price, I will do the sales amount. So you can see the both the total is same. So both function basically achieve the same purpose. 
but there is a different scenario. So for example, if you don't want to create a sales amount calculated column, then you have to use the sumx function. If you want to do it, do it like this, and then you then after to aggregate this one, you can use the sum function. I hope you will understand and thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel.